Hi, and welcome to another screencast from eDesign360. This is your host, Ames Brown, and today we're going to be picking up from where we left off looking at the design of a presentation uh, type of uh, module in Flash. And we're going to expand on it and grow it into uh, in an instructional module. Now, an instructional module has a number of different components. And if you look up at the top of Flash, you'll see here uh, where it says uh, Scene 1. And uh, that's the scene you're in. You also have the typical little clapper uh, that you see on movie production. Uh, and uh, it shows us that we have Scene 1. And uh, if you uh, go up under your Windows menu, uh, you will also find uh, the, uh, uh, the panel for uh, scenes, which uh, I've already added here. So uh, you definitely want to have uh, this panel available to you uh, as you're working on uh, developing your scene. Um, so I'm just going to rename uh, this uh, scene here. Uh, every Flash uh, file starts off with one scene. So now we're going to add more scenes. So I'm going to call this scene uh, Lesson 1. And uh, now I'm going to go down to the bottom of the uh, panel and I'm going to click the little a page turn icon, and I'm going to add uh, a few more scenes. So, let's see, I, I'll call one screen uh, title, and I, I'll put it up here. In fact, uh, maybe a better term for that would be welcome. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, I'm going to name this one uh, Menu. Uh, you could also call it Contents. Uh, actually, we'll split the difference. Contents, Menu. Okay, and I'll put that up here. Okay, so, uh, and we'll have uh, a second uh, lesson. We'll call that Lesson 2. And uh, we'll call one uh, perhaps a quiz or review. I'm going to use both terms there. And uh, you should always have uh, a uh, credits uh, info. Uh, split the difference, call it info credits uh, area. So, uh, the, uh, and you can reorganize these. Uh, keep in mind that uh, if left alone, remember Flash loves to just start moving. It always wants to move. So uh, if left alone, it will move in progression through the scenes uh, the way you have them organized uh, in your scenes panel. And if we go up to our little uh, scene clapper icon here, and click on it, we now see that we also can rapidly navigate uh, between our scenes when we're working. And we also see the current scene that we're in in the upper left. So uh, notice that uh, we're in Welcome right now. That was one of the new scenes. Uh, see how it has a brand new timeline? There's nothing in it. Remember, we started out with that presentation. And that's uh, lesson one. Right, so it shows lesson one in the upper left. We can also see it from here that we're in lesson one. And that's the one with the uh, timeline already uh, developed. Uh, and if we go to uh, the contents menu, there's nothing there, just a new empty timeline. Lesson two, new empty timeline. Lesson three, uh, excuse me, quiz review, uh, info credits, all with uh, brand new timelines. So um, what we'll do is we'll assume that the welcome is kind of a, a splash scene. And uh, we'll uh, uh, let it uh, play and arrive at the contents menu where it will stop. So I'm just going to uh, throw on uh, a welcome, 
Ooh, that's kind of small. Yeah. Just uh, bring that up a bit. Come on now. There we go. And here you can see I have welcome. And uh, I'll change my color to oh, a nice blue. Not quite the blue I was looking for. How about that? <coughs> and, okay, very dark blue. And I'll just uh, quickly uh, align to stage center and uh, I'll center it vertically. And uh, if uh, we were to look at our uh, uh, modify document, we would see this is 20 frames per second for this file. I'll make this last uh, 60 seconds. I'm going to go in here and insert frame and extend out that uh, original welcome uh, to uh, so that lasts three seconds, right, at 20 frames per second. And uh, Go back in my scenes here. So I'm in the welcome. Now I'm going to go to the contents menu. And on the first frame, I uh, will add from my timeline control. Remember, this is an action script 2 file in Flash CS5. I'll add a stop. And so now what will happen is uh, the uh, file will start at welcome and finally end up here on the contents menu. And uh, we'll just uh, quickly uh, throw in here a menu and uh, I'll just align that to the center. And, uh, and I'll just take that and copy it. Uh, I'm not do using layers as I should at the moment. I'm keeping everything in a single layer for this demo here. I mean, this over here in lesson two, this is the way you should have the design with your separate layers for your different modalities of content. And I'll go here and uh, I will uh, paste in place. And I'll call this uh, lesson two and I'll come over on quiz review and I'll call that quiz review and I'm going to go into my library buttons here I'm going to go down to my classic buttons arcade buttons and uh, I will uh, use uh, some blue buttons here. And uh, again, let's remember how many uh, we have. This is a contents menu. So lesson one, lesson two, quiz review info credits. That's one, two, three, four. Okay, so we need uh, four buttons. Uh, whoops, I switched uh, scenes there, contents menu. And uh, so uh, I will. Uh, Duplicate this and and let's move those up. Okay. Uh, so now you could have a text label next to each of these buttons. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to make this one go to lesson one, this one go to lesson two, this one go to the quiz, and this one go to info credits. So um, here we go. We'll keep our uh, little scenes uh, menu here handy. And I'm going to go in here and action script. And here I do an on release. And okay, we're going to use under timeline control go to and stop. And 
first form is just to go to a frame. That's what we've been uh, using before when we had the single scene. But the second pattern is go to and stop. And you start with the scene, uh, comma, and the frame. So uh, we're going to use the scene names and we'll put those in quotes. So we want this to go to lesson underscore one, close quote, comma, uh, frame one. And uh, I've got that established. I'll use that as a pattern and I'll copy it. And I uh, will come back here and uh, I'll do the same. So come here and, and this one is going to go to lesson two. And click off and we'll go here. This one is going to go to the quiz review. Uh, retitle that quiz review and this last one is going to go to uh, info credits okay uh, and the um, uh, the other component we need is uh, we need to have uh, something on uh, each of the uh, the scene uh, elements of the instructional module that we can call lessons or whatever topic they are. Uh, we need a home button that's going to get us back to uh, the uh, the main menu or contents. And uh, just for the sake of the demonstration, I'm going to use the same type of button. And I'll uh, put it over here. Of course, uh, something that uh, will uh, resize that in properties. Uh, and well, let's make it uh, 32. And so it's uh, roughly. same size as the other buttons here. Uh, of course, you know, home icon would look much better. And uh, we're going to go in, and uh, I still have in memory the uh, same pattern here. But this time, uh, remember, we want these to go back to our contents menu. So we're going to call this contents and underscore. Come on, where's my shift key? Alrighty. And uh, so this is uh, going to be the same script then that we keep on that button. And we need that button. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to lesson two. And I'm going to paste in place here. And quiz review. And paste in place. Info credits, paste in place. We now have the structure of a basic instructional module. And how do you think it's going to work? So uh, we'll do a save, and we'll test the movie. And it starts out with a welcome that stays on for three seconds, comes to the menu, and stops. And if I click here, it's going to go to lesson one. If I click here, it takes us back to the menu. And if I click here, it goes to lesson two. If I click here, it takes us back to the menu. And if I click here, it goes to quiz review. If I click here, it takes us back to the menu. And finally, for credits. All right, so I can click these in any order I want. And uh, there you have it. The uh, core uh, structure of uh, a much more complex instructional module with multiple components and nonlinear navigation. This has been eDesign 360. Join us again for another screencast in the near future as we explore more topics in Flash.